one of our awesome viewers, Hakim, pointed out a crucial aspect we haven't addressed yet. And I'm glad to explore how the priority of performance, image and exposure shifts throughout your career journey. Think of it like climbing a mountain. The path you take will depend on where you are and where you're headed. Let's break down how the focus on performance, image and exposure might change throughout your career. Manners on the go. Welcome back to Manners on the Go. Last time, we explored the PI model for professional success, performance, image, and exposure. We attempted to answer the question many people ask, which slides deserves the most attention? One of our awesome viewers, Hakim, pointed out a crucial aspect we haven't addressed yet. They mentioned that the importance of each slice might differ depending on where you are in your career journey, is words. This is not as straightforward as it appears. For me, it's a function of the level you are in your career. Is it the lowest part of the pyramid, the middle management level, or the top part of the pyramid? Demand for each level differ, which may impact the voting pattern. Hakim, you're right. The importance of each pie slice can vary depending on your career stage. Here at Manners on the Go, we love insightful viewers like yourself, and I'm glad to explore how the priority of performance, image, and exposure shifts throughout your career journey. Think of it like climbing a mountain. The path you take will depend on where you are and where you're headed. The same goes for the pie model. The focus on each slice can shift as you progress through your career stages. Let's break down how the focus on performance, image and exposure might change throughout your career. Earlier career is when you're building the foundation. Imagine you're just starting your climb. Here, the key is to establish a strong foundation. This means focusing on performance. Delivering exceptional work and exceeding expectations will get you noticed by your superiors. Image is also crucial at this stage. Projecting a professional demeanor, cultivating strong communication skills, and dressing appropriately will show that you take your career seriously. On this stage, exposure is still important, but it might be more focused on internal visibility. Volunteer for projects, actively participate in meetings, and build relationships with colleagues across different departments. In summary, the most important pie slices for earlier career stage is performance and image. Mid-career is when you focus on growth and visibility. Now imagine you're halfway up the mountain. You've established a track record of success. Here, it's about balanced growth. You want to maintain a strong performance and image while increasing exposure. This is the time to leverage your expertise by volunteering for presentations, attending industry events, and potentially starting to build your online brand. Expanding your network and becoming more visible outside your company can open doors to new opportunities and leadership roles. The most important pie slices for mid-career stage is a balanced approach with all the three slices. Now, senior career is where you focus on influence and legacy. Congratulations, you've reached the peak. At this stage, your expertise is well established. Here, the focus might shift slightly towards exposure, leveraging your experience to mentor others, contributing to industry discussions, and potentially even writing a book can solidify your position as a leader and build a legacy. Maintaining a strong image and continued high performance remains important. But by strategically using your exposure, you can inspire and influence others within your field. For the senior career stage, exposure might take a slight lead, followed by image and performance. Let's conclude this way. The PI model is a powerful framework, but remember it's not a rigid formula. The ideal balance between performance, image, and exposure will vary depending on your unique career stage and goals. Pay attention to this state-specific prioritization so that you can tailor your approach and make the most of the PI model throughout your professional journey. If you don't mind sharing, tell us in the comments below. Where are you in your career journey? How are you currently using the PI model? And a huge thank you again to Akim for prompting this insightful discussion. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Till I see you again, goodbye. Manners on the go.